G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, another article talking about all the scams that are out there and there are actually tons of scams. Anyone who's watching my channel, please beware. There are so many scams out there. Twitter, even on YouTube, Telegram, watch out for it, Discord, you name it. There are tons of scams. If there's anyone direct messaging you saying, you know, you should invest in this and particularly if, you know, you know, put your money in and you'll get twice as much back or, you know, 50% returns in X amount of days or anything silly like that, it is a scam. And beware, a lot of these scams are people impersonating, you know, big YouTube stars and other people from Twitter. And, you know, there was that scam a while ago and it was Barack Obama and all sorts of people, Elon Musk, uh, I think it was uh, Warren Buffett and things like that. No, none of those people are going to ask you for cryptocurrencies to invest with them and that they will promise any kind of return. They are all scams. Please beware. I'll show you this one. This is a really good one. So here, this is Ivan on Tech. Now, Ivan on Tech, uh, big YouTube star. He's not going to be direct messaging you and asking you to invest with him. He talks all about uh, his uh, sort of academy that he has. Uh, and you can go and join up to the academy and learn about crypto there. But he's not asking you in direct messages to come and invest in anything that he uh, is in. He specifically says in his videos, you know, put your big boy pants on. If you invest in something that he talks about and it goes to nothing, you made that decision. Have a look at this. So have uh, you invested yourself? I and many others are making so much from the company. I am worried because 50 BTC is my pension money. Invest and within four days, you'll get 85% of your investment. You can do with 10, 10 Bitcoin today or more and you'll see profits within four days. That's awesome. I seriously hope this person didn't invest. That would be such a shame. This is not Ivan on tech. He's not doing this. Also, I have a friend. He is, paralyzed, he is a paralyzed military vet. He has some savings so he can pay for his medical treatment. Do you think this would be a good investment for him? Yes, it's a good investment. You and him will enjoy the profits like I and other investors. How's your day going so far? This is not Ivan from Ivan on Tech. I can tell you right now, it is not him. He does not do that. I follow him on Twitter. I follow him uh, on YouTube. Uh, I'm part of his academy. Although I haven't been on there too much lately. Just been a bit busy with work and doing this. But he doesn't do this kind of stuff. And there's so many of them out there. So please just beware. If someone is asking you for your Bitcoin or any kind of cryptocurrencies, uh, and particularly if they say, oh, you know, send it to this address and we send you twice as much back, it's a swap. No, that's a 100% scam. You are going to lose everything. Please beware. Now, I want to go over to the market. So let's have a look. So market cap, we're down a little bit again. And we've sort of leveled out, I, you know. I've been unsure about how low we're going to go. But what I'm doing is what I spoke about before. I'm just keeping an eye on the, the other markets. So let's have a look. How's the S&P 500 doing? Hit a top, rolled over, bit of a fake out, and it's rolled over again. What about gold? Hit a top, and it kind of rolled over and it's trading sideways, but again, it's going down. Uh, we looked at the S&P 500, yeah, S&P 500, let's go to Bitcoin. Found a top, rolled over, bit of a fake out, Rolled out, rolled over again. So these are all the assets that are basically rolling over a little bit. And as we can see, it's forming a bit of a wedge here. We'll come back to this. Let's have a look at the Dixie. Spoke about this the other day. How, have a look at the dollar. It's actually starting to make a move. People are going back into cash at the moment because they're worried, they're scared, and that's why the prices of you know assets, Bitcoin, gold, and things like that have rolled over a bit. So really, at, at the moment, my you know, sort of gut feeling is it's not that it's a bad time to buy because it's cheaper than what it was, you know, only, you know, a week or two ago. But we're just going to have to wait and see what happens because we can see this, this is, this is building. But is it going to sort of get above here? Will it then get above here and make it back to this, you know, kind of support range that it's had for a while? I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. But we go back to Bitcoin. And again, so it's forming this wedge. Now this is on the dailies. So on the dailies, we're gonna to have to wait and see what happens. 
we're sort of sitting around that kind of $10,500 level, a little bit under at the moment. $10,500 is acting as resistance again. So that does concern me a little bit. But again, it's forming this kind of wedge pattern. I'm not going to be surprised if it rolls over and we sort of trade sideways down towards here. So I don't think we're going to stretch it all the way out to the 30th of October. I think a move will have been made before then. But what I'm saying is I think we'll probably trade sideways, get close, roll over, trade sideways, get close, and we might roll over again and then break out. But I'm really looking for us to kind of find support off here. But let's have a look at some of our indicators. Let's see where we are. So moving average. All right, what do we got? We were looking at the 100 day moving average before. So let's have a look where we are. Inputs 100, it was acting as support on the daily. And there we go. 100 day moving average. It's yeah, sort of acting like support, although it's a little bit under it at the moment. So th that's what sort of makes me a little bit nervous. This was support for a little while there, and now it's not even support. But again, the dailies aren't really the greatest to look at if you can't understand charts all that well. You're better to zoom out. So let's get rid of, no, we can keep that actually. Now let's go to the weekly. Weeklies give us a better indication of the broader scheme of things. So we hit a low and now we're low here, but there's every chance we could break up. And really, if it's not next week, it'll probably be in the next couple of weeks that we're gonna see a move in exactly what's happened here. But let's go over here. And let's go to the 20 week moving average. So we still, whoops, sorry. I'll fix that up later, but anyway. So you can see the 20 week moving average and it's very closely related to the 21 exponential moving average uh, is still acting as support. So according to the weekly, we're still in that bull run. In a bull run, we don't come below this. Now we can wick below it, but candle bodies don't go below it, at least uh, in the past anyway. Now again, that's not always a clear indication of what's going to happen in the future, but you know, history doesn't always repeat itself, but it does rhyme is what they say. So as long as we can stay above this, then we're technically still in bullish territory. And we're not quite there yet on the weekly. We could still drop down. So what's that going to be about? 10,116. And again, it's not so much the wicks. If it wicks down, but quickly the candle body fills back up above it, then we haven't broke it. So at the moment... <laughs> Things aren't bullish and they're not exactly negative either. We're just waiting to see. Again, 10,500 is really a level that we need to crack. Around about $10,544. If we can sort of close above that on the daily and then start to use that as support, I am going to be bullish. But it's not going to surprise me if we roll over. At the moment, again, the Dixie's doing real well. Uh, you know, the dollar people are putting money back into the dollar, but they're taking money out of uh, assets at the moment. So that shows that there's fear in the market and people aren't sure what's going to happen. So really at the moment, I would say we're going to need uh, some stimulus money to really pump things back up or we're probably going to travel sideways and slowly but surely sell off, you know, for a time being anyway. I think once Bitcoin gets down to that $10,000 mark, it's going to get snapped up pretty quick. I think people will be onto it. There'll be people looking for those opportunities. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on the market at the moment. Tell me if you uh, believe in this correlation uh, with the Dixie, that if the, the dollar is going up, that you uh, also believe all assets generally go down, and specifically things like S&P 500, gold, and Bitcoin. Because uh, gold, Bitcoin, and the S&P are fairly correlated. More so Bitcoin and the S&P 500 than gold. Gold's not quite acting... Uh, like Bitcoin or vice versa. Bitcoin isn't acting exactly like gold. I think it's the S&P 500 and Bitcoin that are definitely more relate, correlated at the moment. Yeah, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's something you'd like uh, me to cover. When I get a bit more time and I don't have such hectic days, I want to cover off some uh, different coins and things like that. But at the moment, my schedule is a little bit hectic. So we're just going over the market and trying to work out whether you know we're in bullish territory 
negative territory or just you know like sideways consolidating territory at the moment it's, it's uh, i'd say slightly sort of bearish but you know again there are still indicators that show we're above support lines all right stay safe be kind to one another hopefully you haven't lost too much and maybe you're even lucky enough to be on that gain train and i'll see you next time